go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the eighth wonder of the world of sports and entertainment, Mr. Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, Arlington, Texas, USA. Paul Barham's top-ranked boxing and MP promotions are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Super Welderweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza con Carácter, AT&T, Viva Mexico Plan. Make calls from your wireless phone as if they were a local call. EA Sports Fight Night Champion, available March 1st. Smart Communications, the Philippines' largest mobile company, and Top Gear on the History Channel. The gearheads are coming to history with Top Gear. Premieres next Sunday, November 21st. And now, here are your three judges at ringside. Scoring the bout, Glenn Crocker, Jürgen Lagos, and Oren Schellenberger. This contest sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Executive Director William Kunz, Chairman Brian Francis, Boxing Administrator Dickie Cole, WBC President Jose Suleiman, and inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, referee Lawrence Cole. And now for the thousands in attendance and the millions around the world who wish they could be here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, standing with head trainer Roberto Garcia, wearing black with red, officially weighing 150 pounds. His professional record, 38 victories, including 27 knockouts with six defeats. From Tijuana, Baja California, Norte, Mexico, the three-time champion of the world, El Tornado de Tijuana, Antonio Margarito. And fighting out of the red corner, standing with head trainer Freddie Roach, wearing white with gold. Official weight, 144, one half pounds. Professional record, 51 victories, including 38 knockouts, with three defeats and two bouts even. From Sarangani Province, Philippines, the seven time champion of the world, Manny Pacman. Manny. Rosaries, you want to take his rosaries off? Rosaries? All right, gentlemen. I went over things early in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands. Protect yourselves all times. Understood? Play Olympia, you win a sweat thing, touch him up. Let's have a great fight. Antonio Margarito has said that Manny Pacquiao better be ready for war. Pacquiao always is, and so are we. Already, it has been a tumultuous evening in Cowboy Stadium. Prior to the fight, 
Antonio Margarito's hand wrapping exercise was because of his recent history, carefully observed, probably the most carefully watched hand wrap ever, and of course Pacquiao's hand wrap was so absurd. But during the same period of time, members of Pacquiao's camp believed they saw Antonio Margarito either drinking coffee or taking an ephedra-based substance in the dressing room. They protested to the Texas State Athletic Commission. The Athletic Commission had to bring the two trainers together. There were fierce and heated words on both sides. Eventually, it was determined that a drug test after the fight will have to be the measure of whether Margarito has taken a banned substance, and Pacquiao, for his part, gave no indication that he ever considered not entering the ring the fight. So here they are. And Margarito starting with a decent jab. Something surely he has worked on in training. The question there, of course, becomes how long does it last? Pacquiao trying to get inside and go to the body. And Emmanuel Stewart, must Pacquiao fight a pressure fight? Uh, right now, many have said, can not, I see the size difference. It's a big factor right now. I see he's punching, he's not used to punching at a man as big as this man is, who seems to be absorbing his blows pretty easy. Punching up at an angle robs you of power, does it not? Yes, it does. So he has and a better chance to affect Margarito with his normal power if Margarito hunches over and brings himself down to him a little bit. What I'm surprised about is Margarito's jab, which is a very good move. And that seems to be most, at this stage, the most dominant punch in the fight has been his left jab. And the last thing people expected to see was Antonio Margarito standing yep. in the middle of the ring and boxing with Manny Pacquiao. But that's what's happened so far. There's a, a left hand over the top for Manny that brings the crowd to life for him. But Manny needs to try to catch Margarito when he's jabbing with a little left step back and shoot the straight left right through the center. But other than that, he may have a problem tonight. I see the physical side seems to be a big factor. What about going to Margarito's body and trying to bring Margarito's arms and head down? Well, one thing, Manny makes adjustments as the fight goes on very well. And if you notice, after most fights when we interview him, he tells you how I was smart, I played it a little safe, I made adjustments. He's a very intelligent fighter. Margarito has thrown almost exclusively jabs in the first round. That goes against the scouting report. Pacquiao with a good right-left combination upstairs. Margarito's grinning at him as twice Pacquiao fired the left right up the gut and landed it on Margarito's face. And Margarito has shown a good jab, especially early in the round, but Pacquiao's dominated this round with a right hook with a straight left hand to the body. Well, he's won maybe the round, but I don't think he's dominated. I think I, I see think a lot of pictures with the jabs of Margarito still. The speed advantage is unquestioned, Ma and you saw Pacquiao. Pacquiao's blazing hand speed at the end of the round. Beautiful, beautiful body shots, beautiful jab. Keep that going, keep that rhythm perfect. going. Okay. That was perfect, perfect round. Perfect in jab more. Long jab, long jab, long jab. And take him on with the left, the jab. And then the right, but straight and fast. Not slow and not far away. Jab, 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 and then the right. All right, drink a little water. How are you feeling? Good? I'll be box numbers in round one were fairly even. Pacquiao was 16 out of 63. Margarito 13 out of 53. The shock of the round, Margarito throwing 44 jabs out of 53 punches. I, I gave the round slightly to Pacquiao because he landed some pretty clean punches, but the left jab seems to be uh, becoming more of a factor as the fight goes on from Margarito. But I thought Pacquiao landed enough clean shots inside to s slightly win the round. Margarito has been a notoriously slow starter through much of his career. A 53-punch output for Antonio Margarito in round one seems very low, but he has had trouble getting rolling in the early parts of some of his fights, notably the Paul Williams fight. Margarito still content to stand in the middle of the ring and box with Manny Pacquiao, has not tried to drive him to the ropes. The referee is Lawrence Cole. He's the son of Texas State Commission head Dickie Cole. And you usually see him at major fights here in Texas. You know, early in the Claudi fight, Pacquiao was also hit a bit more than we're used to seeing him hit in recent fights. Yeah, and here Margarito. Margarito has landed not only some shots, he landed a headbutt followed by a right hand. These are hard shots from a big man. And the size, size has been a big factor in this fight, as I see right here. 
but speed belongs to Pacquiao. And so he rallies back there. Still, yeah, the loss of power from punching up could be a factor in the fight. Pacquiao beginning to focus a little more to the body, I think. That would well, probably be a good idea. I, I see, I see the same facial expression that Margarita had when he fought Cotto. I mean, you're not yeah, supposed yeah, to be I'm on the ropes he, against he, against Margarito, no. and there he is on the ropes, Emmanuel. Well, I think the size. Is, I keep saying size, 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 but I just see that being a big factor in this fight right now, the way it's going. That was 